In today's video, I'm going to be going over the top 4 attack strategies at Town Hall 12 with only the Town Hall 12 Siege Machines and only Town Hall 12 Troops. As you can see, Realm of Terror lost, unfortunately, two Evil Witches. Very close, equal stars. But let's get right into these strategies right now. And we're going to be starting off with the Super Witch Smash. Now, this is a really OP strategy and you don't need Siege Machine for it. Essentially, what you're going to be doing is starting off a war and walk out one end, usually near a multi inferno tower, and you're going to be zapping out that multi inferno tower, kind of in the same area. So, as you can see, we're zapping out that multi inferno tower and whatever else is beside it, and then using that grand ward to help funnel just a little beside it. We have a baby dragon there, and now super wall breaker to break into a couple walls right around here, just a little bit. While the Grand Warden just continues to do its thing, it's just going to be taking its time, going slow, breaking down buildings, because in a bit of time, we're going to be smashing in our Super Witches. And it is very important that we create a nice funnel and that they don't walk on the outside, because if they do that, the whole attack is pretty much over. Now, a great thing about these Super Witch attacks, RG, is that you can start on the opposite end of the Eagle Artillery. They're such tanky troops that you don't actually have to worry about it too much. And anyways, here are the Super Witches. As you can see, they're going to the Town Hall compartment. We have the King to help the funnel. And we also have some balloons to help kind of, you know, be coke loons. And then there's our Queen going in, our King going in on the outside with a wizard. And everything going in just like so. We didn't use any abilities or anything like that yet. But we did put down a drum spell so that we have access to the next couple of compartments, to the next multi. And so we can keep going through the base. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and use a Warden ability and a Rage spell right now which will allow our super witches to go through and we're not really worrying about the eagle artillery too much we are using our next jump cell which will allow our super witches to just keep going through the base and notice we still have a stone slammer which we haven't used yet we went ahead and took down that mortar so that the stone slammer can go to that air defense and take down that whole compartment we have no more spells left and our super witches are just going to keep going through the space doing their thing breaking down defense because they're pretty much invincible when they have those healers on them they're such tanky troops and plus with the addition of those massive skeletons they're incredibly strong troops who really can get a lot of value so there's a yeti bomb that came out of that stone slammer while the queen is going to be taking down that archer tower and the last couple of defenses are going to be taken down right now as you can see we have a couple more defenses but we still have two super witches which is literally half of what we started with which is good because that means that a lot of our army survived. Oh wait, no, three super witches. So, so three quarters of our army survived from the very start. That is insane. And we're just gonna take down the last couple of buildings. And that is once again, gonna be a very easy triple. There's just 25, 24 seconds left. The weird thing about the stacks, RG, you're gonna find that you're not gonna actually fail too much. You're just gonna time fail, which I guess you consider a fail because it is a fail, but you're gonna get a lot of time fails with this attack strategy. So you have to learn to be a bit efficient and how to be fast with this attack strategy. Anyways, that was a triple from Jenny up against Chewbacca. Evil Witches, triple against Realm of Terror. And it was a pretty nice three star. So the next attack I want to show you is going to be this one by Chewbacca on Shivel 2. And it's going to be using the Zap Super Dragons. We're going to be zapping out two of the multis that were next to air defenses and that's going to create some really nice pathing as you can see let me screenshot that really quickly just so i can actually show you as you can see it kind of like took this whole portion of the base out so it's going to create a nice path like this and plus we're going to use some rocket balloons we're going to use two to snipe off this air defense just like so and that's going to create like a really nice pathing for super dragons to go through super dragons are really strong at on hole 12 and especially at on hole 13 and 14 so if you plan on continuing then make sure that this is that a strategy that you practice is very strong we also have an extra super dragon on each side to create a little bit more funneling and then we have our heroes on the outside to take down those trash buildings we have our blimp going in just like so warden ability will be used very soon to allow our blimp to actually get all the way to the town hall it's gonna get caught up by tornado trap but that's okay we remain calm nothing going wrong and your blimp is gonna now go all the way to the town hall and it's going to explode just like so what's gonna be inside of it I don't even... what was inside of it sneaky goblins okay sneaky goblins inside of there while our super dragons take down those last couple of buildings 
So it's a very strong strategy. Look, we still have four Super Dragons alive as well as both of our heroes. Queen still has ability. We're going to use two more Rocket Blooms to snipe off that last air defense. When you see an air defense or something like that that you can easily snipe off, then why not use two Rocket Blooms to just snipe it off? It's a very, like, why not kind of thing to do. And this attacker did it very well. And it's like a why not kind of thing again. Anyways, last couple of buildings are going to go down right now. And there's still a lot of time left. So this was a pretty quick 3 star as well. Unfortunately, the Laugh at 100 is going to pop, which is going to be a bit annoying, but that's okay. It's not going to slow us down or anything like that, because we're just going to take down the last couple of buildings. As you can see right here, Queen's Altar still up there, but the Queen is not. And last building goes down, and that is once again an easy triple using Zap Super Dragons. So let's hop into this one, and it's going to be a Queen Charge Lalo. I love Lalo attacks, I love Queen Charge Lalo, and the main thing you want to focus on with this attack strategy is taking out the CC, taking out the enemy queen, and getting some nice pathing, and getting solid value. It's those four things that you're trying to get with your queen. And if you can, also, like one of the big things is the town hall. If you can get the town hall, that's a really, really big thing of value, because Lalo doesn't do well against the town hall, it's like a really strong defense. So try to get the Town Hall if you possibly can with your Queen Charge. So she needs to get the enemy Queen, the enemy CC, Value, and Pathing. So here she's going through. She's going to get the Queen soon. And I'm assuming the Multi quite soon as well. There you go. She's gonna fr the attacker is going to freeze all that up. Ability right here will take down that Multi. King on the outside. I think the king could have been used like around here to get that eagle artillery. That could have been done, I think. But the king actually got put out on the outside to absorb the strikes of the eagle artillery. Super Wallbreaker will allow our queen access to the town hall. So as like as I said before, the town hall is one of those things that you're really trying to get. It's one of your priorities when you're doing Queen Charge Lalo. And so take a look at it. The attacker got some nice pathing, took down the enemy CC and the queen. Cosmonized nice Valley got a multi and is about to get down hall. Now Stone Slammer is about to be put down to get the Eagle Artillery. And now the Lalo is going to be starting from the bottom left side of the base as you can see right here. So only the Lalo started after the Queen got that nice pathing, got that nice value, all that good stuff. And as you can see the Lalo is just going to go around the space. The Queen is still alive. When you're doing Queen Charge Lalo, try your best to keep the Queen alive. It can't always be done. As you can see here it wasn't done. But at the end of the day, if you can do it, it's it's a big deal. It's going to help you out a ton. And it can be like the difference between a 3-star and a 2-star. Because sometimes the sometimes it's the queen that takes down the last couple things because your Lalo wasn't strong enough. But here, this person's Lalo was strong enough. They took down the last couple of buildings. Is it going to be enough for a 3-star or is it going to be a time fail? I hope it's going to be a 3-star. Those balloons are going to take down the last couple of defense, so this is going to be a time fail if anything. Come on, put that wizard down quickly, bro. Wizard down. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a three-star without a doubt. Healer going to be going to that wizard to make it a wizard walk. Last couple of buildings are going to be going down. 15 seconds left to get this triple. It should be fine, right? Yeah, it should be fine. It's going to be a nice three-star with Queen Charge Lalo. Easy triple every day of the week. Uh, attack should not easy triple. It's a pretty hard attack strategy. Anyways, uh, it's really one that's worth learning. And now let's go to some Chinese Smash. I think the difference between P.E.K.K.A. Smash and Chinese Smash is Chinese Smash is with Super Wizards, whereas P.E.K.K.A. Smash is with Bowlers. I think Chinese Smash is the way to go. In like 99% of cases, I don't know when you should use Bowlers instead of Super Wizards. I, I just always use Super Wizards. I think they're better for this. I see all the pros doing Super Wizards instead of Bowlers. I think Super Wizards are the way to go for this attack strategy. So the attacker is going to be going ahead and having a nice Warden Walk at the 3 o'clock side of the base. Establishing a nice funnel, kind of like what we did with the Super Witch Smash. And then a couple little cleanup troops all over the outside of the base to snipe off some trash. We're going to have a Yeti with a Wizard and then there's going to be a Wallwrecker getting sent in. Notice we didn't use a Log Launcher, no Siege Machine, no Flame Flinger, none of that. Just Town Hall 12 Siege Machines, Town Hall 12 Troops. Back is going in just like so. There are our Super Wizards going to the base. 
they're guaranteed to go inside because of that nice funnel that we created a nice three h spell which will allow everything to go through the base and then there's our jump spell we're gonna go ahead and poison up that cc that town hall hopefully won't be a problem I, no warden ability there okay i guess we're gonna be saving it for the town hall and uh once you use super witch versus super witch smash versus chinese smash like this i'm pretty sure it's just dependent on the location of the eagle artillery or what you're most comfortable with this you can't end up on eagle artillery like you can with super witch smash so i think that's like the main thing anyways our super wizards are going to be getting a lot of chain value because this is a nice and dense base we're going to have a nice little super wizard walk going on right here it's going to be taking down a couple of those defenses now it's going to be hitting the wall thanks to the queen we, have, we still have a warning. We still have a lot of stuff kind of going everywhere. And there's like no way that this can be a 3 star. Or I mean, a defense. So yeah, this is pretty much a guaranteed 3 star. To be honest. It's a guaranteed 3 star. Like what can the defender do at this point? It's a guaranteed 3 star. The queen is going to take down the last couple of buildings. No ability or spells even needed to be honest. Last couple of buildings are going to go down. We still have 45 seconds. And hardly any of the base remaining. We still have the queen... Not trapped in a wall or anything like that. We still have a P.E.K.K.A going down on the outside of the base near the top right side and going low. The Queen is going to be hitting a wall. She's going to be hitting a wall. Such a Queen thing to do. Going to be taking down those last couple of cannons, archer towers, and all that good stuff. The Warren is going to be helping the Queen out. We're going to take down that last archer tower and this is going to be an easy 3 star. With 2 swag free spells and that was a nice and easy triple. Anyways guys, that is the end of the video. I actually do hope that you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already because I upload Clash of Clans on every single day at 2pm. And comment what you want to see next. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.